and welcome back to my channel Aussie Cleaning Mummy here my name is Jess I am a mum of three boys two hairy cats and yeah I am into doing cleaning and some getting into DIY projects if this is something that you're interested in or you've watched my previous videos and you haven't done it yet hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell. This morning I am going to be doing a clean and declutter of my dressing room. I am going to be doing it in a Marie Kondo kind of style. Um, in our old house we had um, walk-in robes with the shelving on top which is where all this stuff went we don't actually have that anymore obviously um, and I know that there's things in there that I do not yet need and I have not used for a long time um, when I moved I have gotten rid of so many things I'm talking about a half a garage full at least of um, things in our house just wanting to live a little bit of more of a simpler, um, decluttered life. I feel anxious and overwhelmed when my house has too much stuff in it. And I've noticed that it definitely contributes to my anxiety and um, just how I feel towards the house in general and how I find it affects me when it comes to cleaning the house. This is going to be a part one process that you're going to be watching today. This is my declutter before um, we install our new wardrobe that is about a month away at the moment. Um, so my plan is to declutter, get it organized, give it a good clean. It's become a bit of a dumping ground since we moved. It was all nice and fresh when we moved in, but I've just been yeah things are getting dumped in here this is my washing pile back here that first things first I'm going to be putting a load on um, the kids come in my, you know, my three-year-old comes in he pulls stuff out he brings toys in he plays and I just haven't been on top of this area that's what we're doing today let's get this party started Washing, washing, and you guessed it, more washing. Check out my sexy work uniform, bright yellow shirt, minion ways. Everyone's getting their clean on. As you can see, Aria over in the left hand corner having a good old clean. So what I am starting off with is just getting rid of any rubbish, anything I don't need, anything I don't use. I did not notice how much cat hair I actually had on me. Thank you, kitty cats. Love you so much. So like I said, this, is, this had basically turned into a bit of a dumping ground in here. Some of this stuff is not put in its proper place since we moved and it was kind of just out of sight, out of mind. All these quotes from the security screens that we had done, just lots of stuff we didn't need. <laughs>
So I actually have a day and a day and a half that I don't have my toddler and it's a day that I should be doing filming doing things that are just frustrating to do when he's here but for some reason I always end up not doing that and then end up doing half jobs starting it and then going oh my gosh I can't finish this and then coming back to it again do I ever learn my lesson no should I yes So all this stuff in these white boxes are stuff that you would normally have in your bathroom but our bathroom has no storage and I don't want to buy any storage to fit in there at the moment because we are planning to reno it. While I'm at it I'm going through clothes that I don't wear and donating them. If it's not the toddler, it's the cats. So I was gonna full Marie Kondo this, but I decided that I was just sorting for today. And then when my new wardrobe is all installed, I'll be making it look nice and pretty and more functional, etc. That's my favorite word today, apparently, is etc. Trying to steal mummy's cleaning products. Here's a cowboy now. Also this week my hubby and I have started a Kickstarter diet. This was day one. Yeah, as some of you may or may not know, I had the gastric sleeve done three years ago, lost 50, I think it was 56 kilos and I have gained 20 of almost 20 of them back which is just insane that I let myself get this way so he's put on a lot of weight and we are both just over it so we are kickstarting it with an OptiFast diet and before anyone say says anything I know I know it's not sustainable but basically we are shocking our body back into some healthier eating habits and making smarter food choices for the first couple of weeks and then we will continue on with a clean diet. I know how to diet, I know how to lose weight, it's just putting it all into motion. Very much looking forward to Sunday Father's Day which is going to be, it's going to be a cheat meal. We agreed on a cheat meal and a block of chocolate because I'm a chocolate gal. He's not going to have chocolate though. Um, but Sunday is probably going to be a little bit blown out um, from Father's Day. But I'm very much looking forward to it. I've basically eaten chocolate every single day for way too long and it's just ridiculous how much I eat of it. Uh, yeah, I'm not talking even like a couple of pieces of chocolate. I'm talking a block of chocolate. So that shit has got to stop. Hubby has been doing eating breakfast and then having a shake for lunch and dinner. And I've been having a shake for breakfast and having lunch and dinner. He's a much braver man than what I am and I'm so proud of him. He is just a big portion lover. So this is, you know, he goes 24 hours without eating basically, which is insane. Um, again, not sustainable, but starter to get our shit together.
then I am going around and dusting and then I'm going to be giving everything a wipe over with either multi-purpose cleaner or disinfectant. I've got both on the go and Windex for my mirrors. Well, it's not, it's not Windex. I just naturally call it Windex. Any window cleaner, I just call Windex. I only really have one window cleaner that I don't like and that is the Audi window cleaner. It is not easy and smear free. I think what I'm using here is the Bunnings version of window cleaner and it's fantastic. This pigeonhole for the office is a perfect little shoe pigeonhole. so angry when I'm cleaning <laughs> my resting bitch face I'm constantly saying to myself when I'm cleaning too like oh don't don't look angry don't look mad but um I always end up looking mad how before I started cleaning this the room had like just gotten smaller and smaller and smaller and then now that it's all tidied up I've thrown out so much stuff donated so much stuff it just feels so more open airy and amazing and yes I'm leaving my hair straightener out I use it every freaking day and I'm not put it, putting it away and um, getting it out every single day it can stay there it's all about functionality that's my functionality I'm thinking when I get my new do my new dressing room I'll probably put some things on the wall where you can just sort of hang it on there maybe quick vacuum went outside and shook the rug chair with Glen 20 well was Glen 20 now Finito Glen 20 because that's where my cats have decided is their chair and then spraying my mat with the flora and just giving the curtains a quick spray over too <laughs> here you can see guys I've got one bag of the bigger bag is donating and then the smaller bag is rubbish so this is the before and that is the after can't believe in this tiny room I had that much crap that I don't need or don't use so that is the end of my video guys i really hope you enjoyed it please stay tuned for my wardrobe revamp that is going to be coming up in about a month so keep an eye out for that i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one guys bye